Hi, welcome to this video about the email template builder. If you install the email template builder in your instance, you will find the envelope icon on the left in your menu bar. If you click it, you can see create new and we can start creating our own email template. First of all, you can add a um, title to your template. For instance, version four, and we will not yet save it. We will do that as soon as we've changed all settings to our likings. First, we have to choose a base layout, which is based on a couple of teams. You've got classic teams and you've got business and sport teams, which are also uh, based on some marketplace help center teams we've created. So you can choose any team and check the preview on the right to see if it's something you like or want to use. So this I'll choose Cape Town. Um, next I can add a logo in the header and a banner image. Because I've chosen Cape Town which allows me to add a banner image I can see the banner image option here. First I'll add a logo and um, best practice is that you host your own logo on your website and then you can just add the link here. If you do not host your own logo on the website, you can still add an image in the image gallery of the email template builder. You can just upload a file or use any file that you've used before. In this case, I want to use this logo, so I'll click use image and it will automatically be added on top and add it in the URL. Next, I will add a banner image. Same way, I'll choose image use image and it's added to my preview. I can enable or de disable the delimiter here if I need to. Next we can change the colors. We can easily reset colors or we can just start playing around with these, um, these colors and select any color we like. You can see in the preview where the color is needed because it changes based on the team you have, you have chosen. So I'll choose uh, something purple as well. I can use the ink tool here. Choose this color. Make sure it's the same. There we go. Primary background. Let's do something grayish. Secondary color. Let's see what. And is about and of course the link color on top we can change it to white for instance. Next we can change the links themselves. So we can uh, opt to either show them or not show them. Show link one or link two. Link one, we can change the title and URL, for instance, the website. And we close that IO. We can do the same with link two, but it will also by default be preset to your help center. Next, we have the call to action. We can also opt to show it or not. It's the box on at the bottom. We can just add a title. Teams there we go. Let's change the title of the button. And of course we'll add a link. Next and lastly we've got our footer where we can change the company name to premium plus expenses. And here you can see we've created our own template based on these settings. If I choose to change my layout now and move to banner image for instance, it will keep the existing settings and just change the, um, the theme. So you can see in the preview, I don't have to change anything. It's just uh, still the same. <clears throat> Here you can see we've got preview and code, and this is the code we will use to copy in our uh, email place, email HTML placeholder in our admin center. 
First, I'll show you the image gallery. can also be accessed using the image gallery button. You can find the images. And we've also got the documentation button showing you all or giving you access to the articles about the email template builder. So how to use it, how to create and store multiple email templates, how to use the email, the image gallery, and what are the recommended image sizes. So check out these articles if you have any questions or if anything is unclear. Once you've created your, um, your email template and you want to use it, you can just click the copy button Go to your admin center. There you choose channels and email. And once it's loaded, you can see that you've got the HTML placeholder where you can just paste the uh, code we've just generated. There you go. So this email HTML template, you can select them all, remove and paste our new. Now the only thing left to do is click save. And as from now, anyone receiving an email from our Zendesk will automatically have the email template sent. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy our email template builder app and please let us know if you have any questions or if you have any feedback on support at premiumplus.io. Bye.